Hey everybody, Thomas Joseph here. Now mashed sweet potatoes, they are a favorite of pretty much everybody. I'm gonna share with you today a really delicious method for making mashed sweet potatoes at home. You might think it's simple, but you actually need to know a few tricks and tips. So let's get started. So in front of me, I have a large saucepan here filled with about an inch to two inches of water and inserted in this pot, I have a steamer basket. This is something that if you guys don't have this little gadget at home, it is really something that you should invest in because it's a great tool for making many different things. And this is set over medium high heat. We want a kind of a rapid simmer because we're gonna steam these sweet potatoes. Now, you could do one of two things. You could either steam the sweet potatoes or you could roast them in the oven. The reason we're not boiling them is because we don't want them to become waterlogged because in the end, if you boil sweet potatoes, what could happen is you're gonna end up with maybe a waterlogged kind of bland mashed sweet potato. So steaming or roasting are really great methods for making a mashed sweet potato. Now I'm cutting my potatoes into even sized pieces. You wanna make sure that whenever you're cooking anything, any starchy vegetable, and you're cooking it all together that you're cutting the pieces evenly. This will ensure that the cooking is even as well. And once I get these into the pan, depending on the size that you cut, they'll take anywhere between 15 to 25 minutes. You wanna make sure that these are gonna be nice and fork tender in the end. Now, I'm making two, these are two medium sweet potatoes here today, but you could do this in any quantity that works for you. So, cover and about 15 to 20 minutes. Now, while this is going, I'm going to heat up some of the ingredients that will really give great flavor to these sweet potatoes. So in a small sauce pot here, add a half a cup of half and half. Now I'm using half and half because it has more richness, right? It's not just whole milk, but if you were counting your calories or being careful about fat, you could certainly use whole milk here. You could even use a coconut milk would be great if you didn't want any dairy. In addition to that, I'm gonna add three tablespoons of unsalted butter. So so melt this together and two tablespoons of light brown sugar. You could use light brown sugar, you could use dark brown sugar. And if you wanted to skip the sweetness altogether, you could certainly do that. You know, we're really just giving you a basic formula that you can adapt to your taste. So if you wanted sweet potatoes that were a little bit savory, you could add some garlic to uh, the half and half here. That would be great. Or maybe some woodsy herbs like thyme, even sage would be really fantastic. So. I'm just melting these together. I'm just gonna turn off the heat while the potatoes cook, and then we're gonna be ready to mash them together. All right, so the sweet potatoes have steamed up nicely. They're tender, and now I'm going to return them back to the pot. So I've drained the pot of all of its water, and I'm gonna add the sweet potatoes in. And what I'm doing here is kind of drying the potatoes out a little bit. This is another trick in getting really flavorful sweet potatoes. It's kind of something similar to what you would do if you were making gnocchi, where you would rice potatoes and you'd lay them out on a countertop and let the steam kind of escape, drying the potatoes out a little bit and encouraging the potatoes to absorb moisture and flavor from some of the other ingredients that you're going to add. So that's a similar process to what we're doing now. So I'm gonna turn the heat on relatively low. This is kind of a low to medium heat and I'm using a standard potato masher here. Now, if you didn't have a potato masher, you could certainly use a fork to do this. You could also throw this into your food processor because unlike standard potatoes, uh, sweet potatoes don't have as much starch, so you won't end up with something that's gluey. You'll end up with something that's nice and smooth. So, I think we're looking pretty good here. I'm gonna add our half and half mixture right to the sweet potatoes. So just let this heat up and keep mashing. So I think we're looking pretty good here. A little bit of elbow grease. And I'm just gonna turn the heat off. Now, it's a good idea when you're making something so simple like this with just a few ingredients that you give it a try. Make sure it's seasoned properly. I think because there's so many sweet ingredients, like sweet potatoes are inherently sweet, and we've added brown sugar, it's quite sweet, so I'm gonna add a little bit more salt and some pepper. I think the pepper is gonna be really nice because it's gonna add a little bit of kind of spice. It's gonna make this a little bit more dynamic. Now, stir this together. 
this is kind of a rustic mash uh, since I used a potato masher. If you wanted a really silky puree, you could put this into a food processor and it would be really delicious. Now I'm going to just scoop this into my serving bowl here. If you were entertaining guests, you might want to warm your serving bowl so that these sweet potatoes stay nice and hot. Now as an accompaniment for the everyday, you might not need to dress this up in any sort of way, but for the holidays or for a special occasion, you might wanna gild the lily a little bit. So I'm gonna add some more tablespoons of butter on top. And if you haven't tried this before, this is toasted coriander seed that's been ground up a little bit. And this has a really citrusy kind of spice to it, which complements something like a sweet potato really well. So I'm gonna just kind of sprinkle that over the top. And there you go, guys. A really simple recipe for mashed sweet potatoes but I promise you these are gonna be super flavorful and really delicious. I hope you give this recipe a try. Now, if you have any other kitchen conundrums, reach out to us using the hashtag kitchen conundrums. We'd love to hear from you and enjoy guys. And as always guys, click like and subscribe.